Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back with another video and this video is just part of my color collection series that I'm doing where I'm showing you my whole collection by color because that is actually how I sort and store my polishes by color and today the color we are going to be looking at is nude. So these are basically all my browns, all my nudes, all my not fun colors i should say i guess i don't know and these are in no particular order um if we have any that look similar i will pull them out to compare or if i have any that i want to try um i will pull those out and they will go into a try bucket so that they can get bumped up on my um what do i call it they'll get bumped up on my usage because um if they stay in my helmer, you know, sometimes they don't get picked to be worn. But if I put them in a try area, I try to rotate that into my Manny so that they'll get worn sooner so I can make a decision. So it does look like we're going to have some browns that we compare. So I'm excited for that because we did reds and I didn't really have any reds to compare really. I mean, not really. So let's just get right into it. So... The first polish I have is from All Mixed Up Lacquers, and this is Dirt Road Therapy, and this is just kind of like a cream, a cream brown, just like a brown. It's a really pretty brown. Um, I'd say it's like about a mid brown. I got this in a D stash. I think we will be pulling this to compare because when I look at my browns, I can see some others that look similar. So we are going to pull that one to compare. And the next one I have up is from CoverGirl Outlast. And this is, where do they put theirs? They put them back here. This is Toasted Almond. And this, I've worn this so many times. This is an older polish that I bought like at Walmart. It's just a really pretty brown. And we'll compare that with um, the all mixed up lacquer one. Um, but this is just a really pretty, just uh, mid-tone brown like a very good neutral um you know if you have to go on a job interview or anything i think you know that's a good brown um basic brown so the next one i have up is from china glaze and this is gimme s'mores and i bought this new at sally's and i bought this because um my son, my whole family, but my son and me especially are super big football fans. And I bought this because I thought I was going to do some football. Like I've done it before years ago where you make like a little football on your nails. It's pretty easy. I was going to do some uh, football uh, nail art and I wasn't sure if I had it brown at the time. And this was the closest one um, to football brown that they had in the store. And I'm going to put that one with the comparisons, even though I can tell it's a little bit different. They're all a little bit different looking at them, but we'll, we'll do the comparisons. We might as well. And next up, we have one from the Dawn Diva, and this is Electrocuted Sins, and it is a multi-chrome, and I got this in a D-stash. Um, I guess this could, most people probably wouldn't have this in their browns, but because it's kind of like gold to pink more than it is brown, but it's in my browns. Um, sometimes I'll put colors that could not necessarily be that color, um, but it could be that color. I put them where I have more room. Like my brown, I don't have very many browns in nudes, so I had plenty of room for him, but I'm excited to wear that one. Um, very excited. So the next one I have is from Dom Nail Polish, and this is Hello Diamonds, and I got this in HHC, December 2022. This was her Hello Kitty line. I have not worn this yet. Um, I'm going to put this in my try bucket because when I purchased this, I was a fan of reflective glitters, and I don't mind them. I say this all the time. I don't mind them if they're sparse, but when the whole thing is reflective glitter like this, I'm not really a fan anymore. So I'm going to move this one to my try area so I can try it and see if I bought, if I like it, but I did purchase this new from HHC. Um, her Hello Kitty series, it's still going right now, has been so cute, so stinking cute, but like I said, I've kind of gotten to where I'm not a fan of 
reflective glitters anymore. Not when they're like that, like total reflective glitters. Not really a fan. So the next I have up is from Pampered Polish. And this is You Are Perfect, but like a dinosaur. And this is kind of like a really weird looking... I'm not sure if I bought this. I think I bought this new. I'd have to go back to my spreadsheet. She had mysteries one time and I bought some. And I think I got this in a mystery. But it's kind of like a sandy brown with like black and white and gray glitters. It's a Crelly. Um, I think I like it. I think I'll keep it in my collection and not move it to my try area. But um, I'm not sure about this one. But I'll have to give it a try and see. And next up, I have a polish from Koki, and this is Blossom, and I got this at Sally's. I remember I paid $1.29 for this, and I thought, can't beat it. This is really a light, light, probably like see-through-ish pink. Um, I haven't used it. I do believe I poured it into um, another polish and made a polish with it, um, because I've I've done that before, like just combine different colors to make some polishes. So I'm going to move this one into my try area too, uh, just to see if I like it because it's so, it's so clear and so light. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one, but I'm going to give it a try. And this one was Koki Blossom. And then next up, I have one from Paint It Polish, and this is Mystery Crelly's Trios, and this is just a really like topish light brown with all these um, glitters in there. I think this is really pretty. I'm excited to wear it. Haven't worn it yet, but I am excited to wear that one. And then next up, I have one from Girly Bits, and this is Is That a shellatch in your pocket i'm sure i'm not saying that right i don't know what that is this is just like a brown hollow um super pretty i'm not sure if i like it but um i'm not sure i'm gonna just keep it in my collection not move it to the try because if i move everything to the try it'll get kind of out of hand but i think i will like this one um i just haven't worn it yet super pretty and then I have another polish from Sinful Colors, and this is Taupe is Dope, and this is just a brown taupe. I think we'll put that with the other browns and do comparisons of those browns, but I believe I bought this at Walmart. I think I have worn this before. Um, maybe not. I don't have a little, I put bands on them as I wear them. I don't have a band on it, so maybe I haven't worn it, but um I don't know. I, I have worn some of these and they don't have bands on them. Like I've worn this cover girl because this is older and I used to not band them. And now I'm trying to, the goal would be to wear my entire collection. <laughs> but as I keep adding to it, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to wear it, but that would be the goal. The next one up I have is a Sally Hansen Sesame Street one. And this is up to snuff. And this is kind of like an orangey brown. I want to put it in my browns because I have more room in my browns. But it could fall into the orange category too. But it's a very nice formula. Super cute little picture there. And I'm excited to wear that. And then all the rest of the browns I'm getting ready to show you. I have worn. One of my rubber bands broke. But that's fine. I have worn all these browns. So let's just get right into it. So the first one is from Turtle Tootsies and this is Hatchling number 14. And this, my brown drawer is actually like browns and nudes too. So this is a nude. I remember this being super cute because it's just like a basic nude, but then it has these like glitters that come out and make it super pretty, super cute polish. Um, I have to get a new rubber band for this one because this one broke. And this one is from Pampered Polishes. And this is My Bugs, My Bugs, My Bugs. And I bought this at PPU. It is glow in the dark. Um, but it is kind of like a neutral 
um, color. It's like a really light beige with all these different glitters in it. Super pretty. And then I wore this from Sinful Colors, which is Street Legal, which is just a really, really dark brown. I will put that into the comparisons with our others, and we will see what we get. Um, because I don't need, you know, a bunch of colors that look the same. Even though looking at them, they look, they look different. And the next one I have up is from the Dawn Diva. And this is Rocky Balboner. And this is like a brown with, it has all these white matte glitters. I remember that I was, I thought I wouldn't like this, but it has like a red shimmer to it. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, and on your nails, when that red comes out, oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. So I really enjoyed that polish. And then next up, I have a polish from Chalice. And this is Fiance. And this is just a really pretty brown with a shimmer. This was a gift from a subscriber. And at first when I saw this, I didn't think I would be into it. But this shimmer, man... This just made this so stunning on your nails. I know it's not coming off on camera, but it really, really did. And I can't wait to wear this again. It's like a neutral. I love a neutral that's a neutral, but is a little bit something extra. So it's just not, you know, just your basic neutral. It gives you some type of little pop. But that one is super pretty. And then next up, I have one from Northern Nail Polish. And this one is... Niagara Falls and I bought this in a D stash or a mystery and I remember this just a really really pretty light 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 cream super pretty not sure how it looks with the cokey okay so it's slightly different than the cokey but um we could compare those two but super pretty and then next up I have one from bluebird which is new year who dis and this was also in that gift box from the subscriber and this is a bluebird uh shattered hollow and i don't know it doesn't matter what color she makes these shattered hollows in this is amazing but this was just a stunning neutral and it's like got a little bit of color shift in there super cute polish and then next up, I have one from Sinful Colors, and this is Smoky Palto Santo. And this is just kind of like, it's supposed to smell, but a deep brown with shimmer in it. Um, I'll put that in the comparison too, but I don't know, you know. I don't know because it's 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 different than the other browns because it's got that like shimmery vibe to it but we'll put it in there and then next up I have one from Cuticula and this is Touchdown and it is just a brown hollow don't know um I guess I can put this in the comparisons too but this is definitely one I would probably keep because it's just different but we can put it in there and we'll we'll play around with it. And then next up, I have one from Bluebird Lacquer. And this is What in Carnation. And this was just, oh my gosh, this was stunning on the nails. It was a dark brown and it had flakes. I remember thinking in the bottle, eh, not my favorite, but this was stunning. It was really stunning. And this was in that gift box from the subscriber, which just was amazing little gift um it was totally amazing it really was but this one was just a stunner that you would look at and be like ah eh, nothing special about her but oh she was special on the nails she was special super cute so that is my complete brown collection so out of my brown collection we got one that i'm going to move to a try area and try to get it on my nails soon and decide if I want to keep it or if I'm just going to put it in, you know, a giveaway. And then we have two lighter browns, which are, you know, you can already tell they're different by looking at them, but two lighter browns that we're going to compare and then a bunch of darker browns that we're going to compare. Um, 
Ooh, this bottle is so dirty. This this is old. This is probably oh my gosh, this is probably close to eight to ten years old, that bottle of nail polish there. But we're going to do some comparisons of those and see how similar they are. And that is all I have for you today for my brown colors. If you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do videos like this all the time. And I do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye.